Church and not on my land. The debate over Governor Abbott's border wall plan has fired up a South Texas family who says that they plan to fight to keep their property wall free. We continue now with Ken Molestina on assignment this week at the border. Our live coverage with the fear and the frustration we hear from some landowners there. Ken, tell us more. There is plenty of that uh, down here, Doug. The Cavazos family, who you're about to meet, their ranch sits about seven miles down the river, down the border from where we're standing right now. It's in the next town over of Mission. Now, the family says at the core of this debate, sure, is an issue of eminent domain. But for them, they say it goes a whole lot deeper. These 65-plus acres of family land in Mission, Texas, sit right on the banks of the Rio Grande. It's belonged to the Cavazos family for three generations, and it's no secret how they feel about a border wall going up on their property. It will be a waste of money. I don't think it will help us at, at all the way they're thinking. Fred Cavazos and his cousin Reynaldo Ansaldua Cavazos look after the land these days. And we used to harvest the crops and help them irrigate and yes. take care of animals and this sort of thing. So we, we've always worked here. The pair don't physically ranch it anymore, but instead they rent out and maintain several homes on the property for a living. The Cavazos family claim they've been offered $350,000 by the federal government to take six and a half acres of their land to complete a previous wall project, something they're currently fighting. But now they fear Governor Abbott's new wall plan could take even more from them. There's no doubt he's going to be challenged. Uh, he's going to be challenged. Uh, if he comes over here, uh, he's going to be challenged by us, too, because we're not going to sit here and let him take any more of our land. You know, the Cavazos family says protecting all of their land from eminent domain is not just a matter of opinion or a preference for them. They say it's also tied into a promise that they made to their grandmother. Our grandmother told us when we were kids, this is, I'm going to teach you how to work, and this is where we work. And never sell the land, they said, because the land will always feed you. They made the vow to their grandmother, Eloisa Rosa Cavazos, before she died. And as long as they're still around, these cousins say it's a commitment they're fighting to keep. But that fight could be fleeting. Aside from the land they've already been slated to lose, National Guard troops have already been posted up on their land around the clock. A watchtower has been placed here too, and U.S. Customs helicopters fly overhead all the time. How would you like uh, somebody, uh, the government, to come to your house and say, we're going to put a, a gate right, right in your house. You can't come in until we, you come and tell us that, to come in and open up. I know the wall is political. You cannot take private land for political reasons. It's got to be f for the good of the nation. This is not for the good of the nation. This is for political reasons. That last piece of criticism that you just heard is something that we hear a lot from those who oppose the wall, Doug. But I can tell you that law enforcement at every level that we've spoken to out here, local, state, and federal, they say they do need a wall. They need some kind of help because this most recent uh, increase of migrants coming through the border, they say they cannot control that on their own. We're live tonight in the Rio Grande Valley. Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Passions clearly on both sides of the issue. Ken, thank you so much in your work this week.